So one question that often comes up in this context is, well, I understand enterprise systems are very important for an organization, but why is it necessary for a non-IT person to know anything more about enterprise systems? I'm in an organization, we've got an enterprise system, it works, so what do I care? It's just like driving a car. We all drive cars, but we don't know, 99.99% of us don't know what is happening inside the car. You turn the key, it starts, you press the accelerator, it moves, and you press the brake, it works. There's an interface they've provided us, and we can use the car. There's without any need for us to know as much as automobile engineers do. Right. And yet, when it comes to enterprise systems, I'm making a claim that it's important for all of us to know something about enterprise systems. Why is this dichotomy? Why can't we just be users about enterprise systems? So what we're trying to say is that first of all, <coughs> there's a big communication gap between business and IT. Business doesn't understand what information technology can do and the IT people do not typically understand what business wants. So there's a big communication gap and it's only that when they come together that they can build information systems. And therefore, there's a need for active participation of the business people in the process of either developing an enterprise system or in the process of choosing and customizing an enterprise system. And of course, as we've already pointed out, there's this deep accounting implication and therefore it is essential that accounting people be deeply involved in this process, right? This is why the analogy with driving a car doesn't really work when it comes to enterprise systems. When it comes to a car, it is possible for the car company to build a system in which all the internals are completely hidden from us and we just use the user interface they provide us to drive the car, right? Now that's a well understood system. You've got the roadway system, the signaling system, everything is well developed and we can do it. But the information landscape is quite different. It's not the same and therefore it becomes important for business managers to, to be able to interface with IT people to tell them exactly what they want for to operate their businesses successfully. Okay, so this is our complete uh, scenario. As I've already pointed out, the main bulk of the course is really about database design and actual databases and retrieving information from databases. So the bulk of the course is actually here, but there's no point in knowing only a small part of the picture. And I would like you to have the experience of building a complete working application. So it's not enough if you just design a database and have the database, but it will be useful for you if you understand how is this database going to function in a real application context. So I would like you to also understand this portion of the piece of the puzzle as to how to take the database and build an application that is database enabled. And of course, beyond this, our course is also going to talk about an actual enterprise system, the world leading enterprise information system, which is SAP. So you will learn how to actually use a real enterprise system that Fortune 500, so that many of Fortune 500 companies actually use. So that you get a good feel for, okay, this is how the internals of an enterprise system look. And that is this part of the whole story. And then you go and actually use an enterprise system so that the whole picture gets complete. That, that's really what we're looking for in the course. So as I've already said, you're going to look at databases. We're going to look at the whole process of database design. Then you're also going to look at how the database that you have is going to be used by an enterprise system. And one of the big pieces there is what is called the structured query language or the language using which you extract information from a database. And structured query language is also very important because very often in business environments, you have access to a database and if you know the language, then you can extract whatever information you want from it. There may not be a report that somebody has created, but once you know the language, you can extract the relevant information from it. Sometimes that may come in handy. So you're going to also learn the structured query language. And as I've already pointed out, you're also going to learn how to create the plumbing necessary to actually develop a, a web-based application that really uses your database. Okay, 
So we complete the whole picture so that at the end of this course, you will be able to build complete applications with databases. But the focus again is only minimally technology. Most of the focus is going to be on database design on the one hand and using the real enterprise system SAP on the other hand.